Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about some elements of probability. Today, we will learn to calculate the probability of an event in numerical form. Ram and Sohan participated in a race competition in which these are the only two players. Can you tell? What is the probability of Sohan winning in this race competition? We can easily say 50%. But if I tell you that 50 matches already have been held between Ram and Sohan, in which Ram has won 37 times and Sohan 13 times, will you still say that Sohan has a 50% chance of winning? No. Basically, there are two types of probability, experimental or empirical and theoretical, based on which there can be two different answers for the same event. Let's see an example to understand it better. Suppose a Kabaddi match is going to happen between Team A and Team B. At the beginning of the game, we do not know anything about the past performance of both teams. In such a situation, if we have to predict which team will win, then we can say that both have a 50-50% chance of winning. We call this the theoretical probability. Now, if we assume that both the teams have already played 20 matches, out of which Team A won 12 matches. In such a situation, we will select Team A in the prediction of the winning team, where the prediction or probability of an event is calculated based on the data is called experimental probability, which we represent by P. The experiment probability is the ratio of the number of trials in which the event has occurred and the total number of trials. Let's understand it by another example. In the game of Ludo, we throw the dice for which the outcome and sample space are this. Suppose that the dice was thrown 400 times until the Ludo game is over and it was seen that numbers from 1 to 6 came so many times. So, can you tell me now, what is the probability of number 1 coming after throwing the dice? The trial here is to throw the dice. Since the dice were thrown a total of 400 times, the total number of trials would be 400. The desired event number 1 is to come. In our experiment, the number 1 got 96 times when the dice are thrown 400 times. Therefore, the number of trials in which the event has occurred will be 96. Now, we will solve by substituting all the values in the formula of the experimental probability. So, the probability of the number 1 coming is 0 0.24. Today in this video, we learn to find the type of probability and the experimental probability for an event. In the next video, we will study the theoretical probability for an event.